PJSC Gazprom is a Russian majority state owned multinational energy corporation headquartered in the Lekta Center in St. Petersburg. As of 2019, with sales over 120 billion United States dollars, it sat as the largest publicly listed natural gas company in the world and the largest company in Russia by revenue. In the 2020 Forbes Global 2000, Gazprom was ranked as the 32nd largest public company in the world. Gazprom name as a portmanteau of the Russian words Gazavaya pro Myshlenist. Gazprom is vertically integrated and is active in every area of the gas industry, including exploration and production, refining, transport, distribution and marketing, and power generation. In 2018, Gazprom produced 12% of the global output of natural gas producing 497.6 billion cubic meters of natural and associated gas and 15.9 million tons of gas. Condensate. Gazprom then exports the gas through pipelines that the company builds and owns across Russia and abroad such as Nord Stream and Turk Stream. In the same year, Gazprom has proven reserves of 35.1 trillion cubic meters of gas and 1.6 billion tons of gas. Condensate. Gazprom is also a large oil producer through its subsidiary Gazprom Neft, producing about 41 million tons of oil with reserves amounting to 2 billion tons. The company also has subsidiaries in industrial sectors including finance, media and aviation, and majority stakes in other companies. Gazprom was created in 1989, when the Soviet Ministry of Gas Industry was converted to a corporation, becoming the first state-run corporate enterprise in the Soviet Union. After the Soviet Union's dissolution, Gazprom was privatized, retaining its Russia-based assets. At that time, Gazprom evaded taxes and state regulation and engaged in asset stripping. The company later returned to government control in the early 2000s. And since then, the company is involved in the Russian government's diplomatic efforts, setting of gas prices, and access to pipelines. The company is mostly owned by the Russian government via the Federal Agency for State Property Management and Rosneftijaz. While remaining shares are traded publicly, Gazprom has a listing in the Moscow Exchange and has a market capitalization of US$80.56 billion United States dollars as of September 2019. In 1943, during World War II, the government of the Soviet Union developed a domestic gas industry. In 1965, it centralized gas exploration, development, and distribution within the Ministry of Gas Industry. In the 1970s and 1980s, the Ministry of Gas Industry found large natural gas reserves in Siberia, the Ural region and the Volga region. The Soviet Union became a major gas producer. In August 1989, under the leadership of Viktor Chernomedin, the Ministry of Gas Industry was renamed the state gas concern Gazprom and became the Soviet Union's first state-run corporate enterprise. In late 1991, when the Soviet Union dissolved, gas industry assets were transferred to newly established national companies, such as Ukrajazprom and Turkmengazprom. Gazprom kept assets located in Russia and secured a monopoly in the gas sector. In December 1992, when Boris Yeltsin the Russian president, appointed Viktor Chernomedin, Gazprom's chairman, his prime minister. The company's political influence increased. Rem Vyakhirev took the chairmanship of Gazprom's board of directors and managing committee. Following the decree of the president of the Russian Federation of 5 November 1992, and the resolution of the government of Russia of 17 February 1993, Gazprom became a joint stock company. Gazprom began to distribute shares under the voucher method. By 1994, 33% of Gazprom's shares had been bought by 747,000 members of the public, mostly in exchange for vouchers. 15% of the stock was allocated to Gazprom employees. The state retained 40% of the shares. That amount was gradually lowered to 38%. Trading of Gazprom's shares was heavily regulated. Foreigners were prohibited from owning more than 9% of the shares. In October 1996, 
1% of Gazprom's equity was offered for sale to foreigners as global depository receipts. In 1997, Gazprom offered a bond issue of US$2.5 billion. United States dollars. Chernomedin, as Prime Minister of Russia, ensured Gazprom avoided tight state regulation. Gazprom evaded taxes, and the government of Russia received little in dividends. Gazprom managers and board members, such as Chernomedin and the Gazprom chief executive officer, Rem Vyakhirov, engaged in asset stripping. Gazprom assets were shared amongst their relatives. Itera, a gas trading company also received Gazprom assets. In March 1998, for reasons unrelated to his activities at Gazprom, Chernomedin was fired by Yeltsin. On 30 June 1998, Chernomedin was made chairman of the board of directors of Gazprom. When, in June 2000, Vladimir Putin became the president of Russia, he acted to gain control over Russia's oligarchs and increase the government of Russia's control in important companies through a pro.